Hello everyone. Today I am going to take you through the second lesson of EVS. Now, let me ask you students, how many of you would like to go to the circus? I would love to go to the circus when I was a little girl. There I could see so many different kinds of animals. The elephant, the horses, bears, monkeys, lions, tigers, even little doggies doing their different tricks. Another favorite place of mine was the zoo. There I could see so many various animals in their cages. Yes, I know it's rather sad. Something we now understand during this lockdown period. How difficult it must be for them to be in their cages day in and day out. Now children, you all have learned about animals in your other classes. Can you tell me the different groups animals can be placed in? Right, we have domestic animals like the cow, dog, goat, sheep and many more. Then we have wild animals. These animals are not trained. They can be dangerous. They are found in jungle, sometimes in zoo. They are rhinoceros, lion, elephant, tiger, deer, bear and so on. Animals are placed in different groups. They can be differentiated according to their place they live or, or found. Now animals found on land like the cow, horse, squirrel, these animals are found on land. Some animals fly in the sky. They use their wings to fly in the sky. Some animals you can found in, find inside the water. They use their gills to breathe and fins to move and swim inside the water. Some animals are differentiated according to their color. A white dove, a black buffalo, we sometimes say this. Animals are also differentiated on basis of their size. A small rabbit, a huge elephant, a tall giraffe, so on. Animals sometimes are differentiated according to the way they move. The squirrel has a very light body and is very small in size. This allows it to hop, jump and run at a great speed. The elephant on the other hand has a bulky body and it is having a thick leg. All the legs of the elephant are huge and thick which do not allow it to run fast. Now children, look at this deer. This deer has very thin legs which allows it to run at a great speed. The frog is an animal with different set of legs. The front leg of the frog are short. And the hind legs, that is which is behind, are longer. This allows the frog to jump high and take long leap. There are animals 
that help us. That's why sometimes we like them more and they become our dear ones. Like the cow, the goat, the hen. They also help us in many ways. We have their meat. We get milk from them. We get egg from the hen. So they are very much helpful for us. Now see this. In this picture, there is a donkey which helps us to carry loads. A camel which is very useful in desert area. It is used to travel to many places. It carries people on its back and walks through, through the desert. It also carries loads. We also have the bullock cart. The bulls pull the bullock cart. The farmers use them for plowing the field. They also use them to carry loads to different places like markets, like different other cities. So it is very useful. But now you know among all these animals, the ones We have those who treat them like an, our family. And there are some animals, those we do not want them at all. But somehow they manage to come into our houses. These are our uninvited guests, the, gray, the gate crashers. The rat which comes into the house eats up all the greens and makes holes in everything. Then there is lizard. I know many of us get scared seeing this insect. We also have creepy cockroach which is supposed to be a carriage of disease as it walks over all the things in our house Sometimes even our food. And then we have bugs. And we don't like them at all. These bed bugs sucks up blood. And they remain on the bed and bed sheets sometime without our notice. So children, that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Read the lesson and enjoy it. Thank you.